house uh, which happens to own uh, the very first bass ever made and uh, there are very few of them one is at the museum in uh, Seattle which is a EMP and uh, you can maybe pan towards where I'm pointing look at this there you go so it started there and it, it got worse. <laughs> That's the involution. <laughs> no. But it, it's an amazing trip from that to that and uh, to this, sorry. And uh, I think it's magic, it's pure magic. I was playing it and uh, it sounds really great. It has a nice tone. Of course, the setting is higher for, for these standards we have now. The strings are very, very close, as you can see. Uh, but I will describe it later. So the magic of this thing is that also besides uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Peter Blecher, Mr. Greg Tudmark right there, which happens to be, he's a very humble person. Uh, I, maybe I shouldn't mention you because you <laughs> want to stay like that, but he happens to be the grandson of the person who in invented the bass, who created the very first bass ever, 1935, which is this one. And uh, Mr. Greg Tudmark, uh, my pronunciation, sorry, Greg Tudmark, 
it was very nice to be with us uh, and uh, uh, share uh, the heritage. So, uh, well, just, I, I don't even know if I was supposed to speak, I was just playing, you know, but I can't help it. And the, the people behind the camera, of course, who else? Bass Musician Magazine taking care of all this. Mm -hmm.